Hello friends, let me welcome you all to our lecture series on the subject internal combustion engines and gas turbines. In today's lecture, we are going to discuss about the abnormal combustion in CI engines. After learning this topic, one should be able to answer the following questions. First, explain the normal combustion in CI engines. Second, explain the abnormal combustion in CI engines. And third, explain the parameters needed to be controlled in order to prevent knocking in CI engines. So let us start. So we'll start with the discussion of what combustion is. So basically the combustion is burning a hydrocarbon fuel in the presence of oxygen from the air to produce the products like carbon dioxide and water and liberating heat which is used for producing work in a thermodynamic cycle and this particular combustion process in case of CI engines happens in certain stages and this points A, B, C, D corresponds to the uh, start and end of different stages and this is what we call as a pressure crank angle diagram for a, a CI engine combustion. Let us start with the first stage. So the first stage is A to B which we call as ignition delay period. A points corresponds to the start of injection and B corresponds to start of uh, combustion. So whatever is supposed to happen from the point of injection to point of combustion is uh, supposed to be in the happening in the ignition delay period. The ignition delay period is divided into two sub stages. First is the physical delay and in the physical delay stage what is happening? In the physical delay the droplets coming inside the combustion chamber is getting atomized. It is vaporized. Vapor is mixing with air to form air fuel mixture and the mixture is reaching self ignition temperature. So all those things are happening in physical delay period. In this chemical delay period on the other hand, whatever mixture which is having self ignition temperature is present is now started to burn and we are going to form a burning fireballs in the combustion chamber. This is what we call as ignition delay period which is happening in between A to B. In all what is happening in the first stage, the fuel is coming in and uh, physical activities are happening and chemical activities are happening in order to prepare the uh, mix, uh, droplet to burn and burning starts. The second stage. In the second stage, uh, we call it as uncontrolled combustion stage or rapid uh, burning stage. And it starts from B to C, which is what is the point B? B is the point where the combustion starts its effect. That is burning of the droplet is contributing into the pressure rise. And uh, therefore, the combustion curve is departing from the motoring curve. So from that point till the peak pressure point is reached is C. So that is your uncontrolled combustion stage. And what is happening during this stage? Suddenly, whatever fuel molecules are accumulated, and which has been prepared for burning in the first stage is now going to suddenly auto ignite and an explosion is going to happen inside the combustion chamber and this is what we call as uncontrolled combustion stage that because we don't have the control on auto ignition which is what is happening inside the combustion chamber in the second stage. Now the third stage, the third stage is from C to D and what is C? C is the peak pressure point and D is the point where almost all fuel has been burned and the maximum temperature has reached inside the combustion chamber. The injection has been continued in this period also and whatever fuel is being injected is being burned and temperature is reaching its maximum in third stage of combustion. And a fourth stage is after D. So after D what is happening? Whatever fuel molecules are accumulated somewhere here and there in the combustion chamber but were unable to burn due to unavailability of oxygen are now going to burn during this particular stage when the piston has already started its travel away from TDC and therefore uh, whatever fuel is going to burn in this uh, fourth stage of combustion is unable to contribute into the power in case of CI engine combustion that is fourth stage of combustion which we call as after burning. This will continue till exhaust is going out and if all these things happen in a smooth manner and if the explosion happening in the second stage is in a normal range then we call it as a normal uh, combustion. So what is happening in normal combustion? Uh, fuel droplets are coming in. These fuel droplets are prepared for burning. Then the injection is being continued and uh, normal burning is happening and uh, the after burning is also happening. So all those things are happening in a planned manner then it is called as a normal combustion in CI engines. Let us move on to understand what is abnormal combustion in CI engine which we call as knocking. Uh, you can see over here the first stage it is the ignition delay period and second stage is what you call as the uncontrolled combustion stage. 
the knocking in case of or abnormal combustion in case of a ci engine is related to ignition delay period so this is related to first stage now how it is related shorter the delay period shorter the ignition delay period lesser is the knocking uh, explosion due to auto ignition and we call that as a normal combustion on the other hand if the delay period is longer then explosion due to auto ignition is going to be higher and we call it as a knocking combustion so that is the difference between the normal combustion and abnormal combustion or knocking in case of uh, ci engines so now let us understand what is generally happening in knocking combustion so as we discussed the knocking combustion is related to ignition delay period and the ignition delay period is subdivided into physical delay and chemical delay what is happening in the physical delay period is mixing and in the chemical delay period the ignition is happening and if the total delay period is longer then large amount of fuel is going to be accumulated inside the combustion chamber and if long, large amount of fuel is accumulated and during the second stage of combustion suddenly and they are going to explode the explosion will be huge and a huge explosion produces extreme pressure differential and violent vibrations and huge sound is the effect of this extreme pressure differential and this is what we call as knocking in case of ci engine so in all how the knocking is happening uh, whatever fuel droplets are accumulated in the combustion chamber in the first stage of combustion they are going to suddenly auto ignite explosion is going to happen and if this particular explosion is normal then we call it as a normal combustion <laughs> if this explosion is going to be huge then it is called as a knocking what we can understand from this is both in case of knocking and normal combustion in case of ci engine auto ignition is there only thing is if auto ignition is lesser then we call it as normal combustion if auto ignition is more then we call it as no knocking combustion so now let us uh, discuss how we can control what are the different parameters which need to be controlled in order to uh, uh, control the knocking in case of ci engines so this is your pt diagram for uh, ci engine combustion where this is your ignition delay and this is your second stage where the knocking is going to happen and the ignition delay period as we discussed is responsible for knocking and what is happening during this delay period the physical delay and chemical delay period that means if physical delay and chemical delay period is decreased less fuel is going to be accumulated and knocking is going to be controlled in short we can say anything uh, done to decrease the ignition delay period is going to uh, reduce knocking uh, preferably we say we have the fuels which should be having shorter ignition delay period so if the uh, ignition delay period is shorter less fuel will be accumulated in the first stage of combustion this particular droplets which are accumulated are going to auto ignite in the second stage and the explosion due to auto ignition will be smaller and then we call it as normal combustion that means uh, shorter the ignition delay period uh, probability of knocking is going to decrease now secondly the self ignition temperature of the fuel if the self ignition temperature of the fuel is less then time uh, required to reach the self ignition temperature is going to be smaller that means in other words easily the mixture is able to reach self ignition temperature that whatever is going to happen during the delay period is going to be happen in a smaller amount of time that in other words the delay period is going to decrease so when the delay period is lesser the probability of knocking is going to be lesser so what we understand from this is we have to choose the fuel for ci engine such that the ignition delay period of this particular fuel has to be shorter and the self ignition temperature of this fuel has to be lesser now the third is compression ratio of the engines higher the compression ratio we know that higher the temperature inside the combustion chamber higher the pressure inside the combustion chamber and due to the higher temperature and pressure the turbulence inside the combustion chamber will increase and when the turbulence is increased the mixture formation is faster and the chemical activity is more and therefore things whatever supposed to happen in the delay period is going to become faster or in other words the delay period is going to be shorter that means if the compression ratio is higher the delay period is smaller and if the delay period is smaller the probability of knocking is going to decrease and this is the reason why we generally prefer higher compression ratios of the values of 
uh, 16 as to 1 to 22 as to 1 in case of CI engines when compared to that of uh, 6 to 12 in case of SI engines. So the reason why we prefer the higher compression ratio is that higher the compression ratio lesser the probability of knocking in case of CI engines. Now moving ahead uh, inlet temperature and pressure if this uh, inlet temperature is higher and the pressure is higher in case of uh, CI engines then the since the temperature and pressure of the gas is higher the turbulence is more when the turbulence is more in chamber the molecular activity inside the compression chamber is going to be faster which are uh, resulting in decreased ignition delay and the which in turn results in decreasing the probability of knocking in other words the inlet temperature and pressure of the inlet in, in the combustion chamber of a CI engine is supposed to be at a higher temperature and pressure and this is the reason why we generally prefer uh, supercharging or turbocharging in case of uh, CI engines when compared to that of SI engines. Why? Because with uh, high, uh, using the uh, so supercharging and turbocharging, we are allowing the mixture to uh, densify that is pressure is going to increase and the corresponding to the uh, increase in the pressure the temperature is also going to increase and when the temperature is higher the pressure is higher the probability of knocking is going to decrease in case of CI engines and therefore we prefer to use the superchargers and turbochargers in case of CI engines when compared to that of SI engines. Now next is engine speed. When the speed of the engine is lesser the heat transfer to the wall is going to be lesser and when the uh, heat loss to the combustion chamber is lesser the heat remaining inside the combustion chamber is going to be higher and when the heat remaining inside the combustion chamber is going to be higher the turbulence is going to increase and the activity inside the combustion chamber is going to become faster or in other words when we use uh, the engine with a lesser speed when we run the engine with a lesser speed then uh, we are going to get a, less, a smaller ignition delay and when the ignition delay is going to decrease the, the probability of knocking is going to uh, decrease and this is the reason why we generally run the uh, CI engines with a smaller speed when compared to that of SI engines and now coming to the cylinder size uh, the cylinder size as it becomes larger we know that the surface to volume ratio is going to be lesser that means uh, lesser the surface we have lesser will be the heat transfer to the cooling system in other words the heat retained inside the combustion chamber is going to be more or in other words it is going to decrease the delay period and when the delay period is decreased uh, we have the probability of knocking to be decreased so that is the reason why we use generally larger size cylinders in case of CI engines when compared to that of a uh, SI engines now moving ahead we have a uh, cylinder wall temperature if it is higher when the wall temperature itself is higher the mixture is going to be retained at a higher temperature activity inside the combustion chamber is going to become faster and the delay period is going to decrease and therefore the probability of knocking is also going to decrease so in all we can say uh, in case of SCI engines we have to design the engine such that the cylinder is going to be of a larger size the speed is supposed to be lower we can use uh, turbocharging or supercharging to uh, supply the engine with a higher temperature and pressure charge then the compression ratio can be used to a higher value and the fuel needed to be of a lesser self ignition temperature and a lower value of ignition delay and the, this is supposed to be done in order to control the knocking in case of CI engines. Thank you. Hopefully you might have enjoyed the lecture then please do like the video and know your thoughts in comments. Please do share this video among your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. After subscription, you can press the bell icon to never miss the notification regarding our new video.